Yo, have you heard about Anchor? It's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. It's free. There's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you, so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Welcome everyone to the L7C podcast, Dragon Ball edition. Today we are going to be talking about Dragon Ball Super chapter number 78, Gas's Wish. And we have our Dragon Ball expert with us, Mr. Mitchell Oso. How are you doing tonight, sir? As always, man, doing fantastic. How are you this evening? I am doing fantastic as well, especially since we're going to be talking about some Dragon Ball. And for those who have listened to our podcast, um, what out throughout this year, year now, you already know how these go. We review the chapter, talk about it, give our predictions, and then go from there. So, Mitch, take it away. All righty. We got a hot chapter. I wasn't expecting to, um, this heated uh, from the heaters. Ha ha. Pun on words. Please don't shut off the podcast. Um, and um, my dad, my dad jokes are on point. I mean, let's just let's just get to it, you know. So, anyways, Justin, don't edit that out. Thank you. Um, shout out to producer Justin. Does a fantastic job every month. Okay, there. So, Gas's Wish is the uh, name of this chapter. Uh, it starts off as the heaters are flying to locate the uh, Dragon Ball, as is what they were doing at the last chapter. And maybe um, they are in discussions. They make a remark that, the, um, that Goku and Vegeta and Granola have stopped fighting. They pondered why for a second, why they would have stopped. And um, they figured out that Monado, the Namekian that showed up and probably is the reason why um, the fighting has stopped. And um, and then Gas um, makes a recommendation that um, they just go kill them now while they're weak. And Alex says, okay, well, just you guys go and... You fight them, and I will go make um, our wish. And um, Gas makes a remark that he's fine the way he is. Alec tells him, uh, don't be silly. This is the only surefire way to achieve our goals, and that all of their plans rely on Gas. So Gas, and um, trying to remember what the female heater's name is. Um it's not oil. That's the big fat tub of lard. Honestly, I can't remember, but I'll research it and I'll get back to you. So the um, panel takes us back to Vegeta, Goku, and Granola. And um, Granola is just kind of in shock to hear that the heaters were the ones who killed his mother back in the day. And Granola demands answers as to why. Uh, Monado allowed him to work for the heaters um, for all those years. Monado says that it was the only way for them to survive. And Vegeta um, and Goku are just listening to this um, conversation. And Vegeta asks Granola if Bardock defeated Gas. And Monado states that he sure did. And that's how they survived that. Goku's glad to hear that his father actually won the battle. Um, but Vegeta makes a remark that he believed that, you know, as Bardock being a low-class warrior, he made the remark or the inquiry as to if Gas was really weak. And Monado says that it's quite the opposite. Gas was very strong. And then he was going to state how Bardock won. But they were then interrupted by Elec had collected the Dragon Balls. Uh, summon the dragon, and the um, as this dragon is summoned, as uh, we all know, sky turns dark, 
and Vegeta and Goku are surprised to see that the sky has grown dark. And Monado, Granola, they're in shock too. And panel shows Alec completely surprised to see the actual dragon. The Cerulean's the population on the planet, for a fresh reminder, they're in shock again as to why, um, you know, the planet is dark just out of nowhere. And um, and then um, they make then the um, comment. Actually, where is the comment? Oh, sorry. Um, I was skipping ahead on the chapter. Um, so the, the sky goes um, back to normal. And all of a sudden, um, Goku and Vegeta sense a extremely enormous power level coming right at them. That wasn't coming at them before. And um, Granola, Granola states that he knows that power. And the heaters arrive and a big old wind gust comes down right whenever they land. And um, Goku, Vegeta, and the whole crew, they look on the top of this um, hillside and they see oil. And um, and again, the, the, the female here, I forget what her name is. Her, na- her name, though. Maki. It's, it's Maki. Um, Maki, Maki, which stands for it's like Japanese of like wood burning, so that that that's what the equivalent is. I just I apologize to the listeners. I just don't know too much Japanese. Maki, correct? Mm-hmm. Okay, Maki. Yep. So um, they land there at the top, um, and they're looking down at at the fighters. And Goku makes a remark that um, you guys are jerks. We know the whole story of why you brought us here and then why are you here? And um, and they make the remark that, you know, because of um, Granola deciding to make a wish, that they were going to make a wish. And all of a sudden, they state that Granola is not the strongest anymore. And now that gas is, um, Vegeta completely shocked that um, there's someone else now claiming to be the strongest in the universe. And bam, gas appears. And gas originally was, he was very short. He was childlike. I mean, he he looked like, he looked intimidating, but nonetheless, he was still a child. Short stature and just not not anything that uh, we were concerned about. Well, the wish has caused gas to grow up um i will give martin here the opportunity to describe gas's transformation do you remember what you told me that this resembled to you yeah so what it resembled was for those who have listened to the power ranger episodes on this podcast it reminded me of power rangers turbo with justin the blue lights uh blue turbo ranger when he is super short and then when he morphs he is super tall Disclaimer, this was the only bleak picture I saw of gas, and I just instantly knew this is bad. This is very, very bad. Continue on. <laughs> yep. So, yeah, a Power Rangers reference there. Um, tune into that podcast. Uh, give uh, give, uh, give the gentleman um, their credit. Give Cedric, Byron, and uh, Martin. Um, go, go listen to it after this, of course. Yeah, cool. Um, <laughs> So yeah, gas here, um, fully grown and powerful as hell, and the the fighters are just in shock. Uh, Monado actually states that he feared as much that they must have used the Dragon Balls. Um, Goku and Vegeta now figure out that there are Dragon Balls on the planet, and now it all makes sense. And Granola admits to um, using them to become the strongest in the universe. And then at that moment. We start now getting into the action. Um, Gas points his finger, his right index finger, straight down to the planet, and then um, creates a energy beam. Um, again, he's on top of the hillside, and then he flicks his wrist up, and um, he just laser blasts um, the hell out of the um, the the ground, separating the uh, the fighters, going like right in between them. And he just um, severs Granola's ship right in half, right down the middle. And 
Granola kind of in shock that his ship is now destroyed. And now we start seeing what gas is all about. Because we, we, we've, we've said this through multiple chapters ever since gas even held off his own slightly against granola when um when granola was attacking them that first like, you know many chapters ago like on their meeting or whatnot after he made his wish now we see what granola or uh, gas is all about and gas has the ability to conjure up weapons and other fighting tools using just energy so he creates this four four pronged spear um a, a quadrant like i'm trying to think like we have tridents with three but like what's a four um pronged spear i don't know so a quadrant i guess that kind of sounds right anyways throws the four pronged spear directly at granola who again is looking at a ship that's destroyed and this thing pierces granola in his shoulders in his legs and it pins him completely against his ship granola is in uh, immense pain again he's weakened from this um fighting against goku and vegeta and gas um, comes down the hillside and he's walking straight towards granola and he um and he states that um that he provides now enough muscle for the heaters that um, granola is not needed. And, um, and he says that at last um, he is finally free to kill him. So he's about to finish off granola. Uh, Goku tries to step in and attack. Um, and gas notices Goku um, flicks or, um, you know, snaps his fingers and he's, Balls of energy, or not balls, they're like um, boxes, um, just square boxes, um, probably the size of, you know, just like someone's torso, just put down the kind of um, perspective. These boxes of energy are wrapped around Goku's arms and legs. Um, you can kind of think, if you've, if you've seen like season seven of uh, Dragon Ball Z, when Goku is in other world and he's training with um, King Kai, and then I think the Southern Kai comes up, or the, the big tall um, Kai, I forget which one. He comes up and then he's talking to King Kai and he's like, "How are you going? Or you know, what what fighters are you going to bring to you know the other world tournament?" And he shows Goku. And Goku's training with these huge weights. And then, um, and then he goes Super Saiyan, kind of like that. Well, these weights are th- these things hold Goku down on the ground, and Goku makes a remark that he can't believe that he can't move. Um, Gas um, makes a comment that um, Goku must be Bardock's son. He doesn't mention Bar- doesn't mention Bardock's name. Just says that he must be because of a resemblance. And um, Vegeta or um, Gaz asks if his father is still alive. Um, Vegeta says that Frieza killed them all, and only a few members of the um, tribe survived. And they ask why, or Goku asks, why are you guys going to kill us in the first place? And they just stated up front, we anyone that could possibly stand in our way is going to get killed. So Granola then, or Gas then creates a axe. A two um, two sided axe with his energy technique grabs it, says to Goku that now he must die, and he slashes right down at Goku's head, and at the very last second, gas gets blasted in his back. Um, the axe comes down like inches away from Goku's ear. It slices some of his hair off in the panel, and we find out that it's Granola who blasted. Um, gas and saved goku he makes a remark that uh, the title of the strongest belongs to him um and now gas is pissed off so he goes flying back toward granola granola with another weapon and smacks him in the face with it and then um granola's just getting beat around he keeps smacking him and yep so on and so forth just getting his ass kicked 
Gas makes a remark that Alex saw value in her strength, but he never did. And while they're a little chit-chatting, Monado goes over to Goku and um, frees him of the energy cubes, energy boxes around his extremities. Don't really understand how he did that, but Namekians are, you know, they, they have powers that are good for, you know, advancing the plot. So there's that. Monado offers to heal Goku, and we learned in the last chapter or two chapters ago that Monado can heal as all Namekians, or m- most Namekians can. It's really difficult. And the more practice they have, the you know, the better they are at it. And he doesn't have a lot of practice. So he's uh, he's agreeing that he's going to heal Goku the best he can. And all that he asks is that uh, Goku save Granola. And Granola says that, or uh, Goku says that he'll do what he can. Then it goes back to um, Granola fighting gas, just getting his ass kicked. And... Um, Granola asks Gas, why did you let me live? And um, Gas states that um, the heaters did not learn um, that uh, Monado and him had survived until several years after um, the planet had fallen. And um, But at that time when they learned of that, uh, Granola had already created a name of himself um, as a bounder and the bounty hunter in the universe. Um, so instead of killing him, they just decided decided to hire him. And Granola is shocked. And then we see a flashback to when Granola, as a kid, is practicing his um, his his moves, his fighting stance in the woods. And while he's practicing, um, Alec and the Heaters are talking to Monado. Asking and asking him about, you know, Granola uh, being the famous bounty hunter everyone's been talking about. Granola basically is asking, "Why are you here? You can't take them." Um, and the heaters are like, "So you must not have told him that we killed his mother." Monado states that if he did tell him, then Granola would seek revenge, and it wouldn't be good. And he'd get himself killed. Ella comment or compliments him and says that you you must be smart um because that's that's true and he tells him that he needs to keep his mouth shut otherwise both of them are going to get killed and then alec uh, summons granola over and asks if he wants to work for him they'll pay him handsomely and um and then yeah that's that's the end of the flashback now back in um Back in the present, Monado contemplates if he actually made the right choice serving Alec instead of just, you know, telling Granola the truth. Um, Goku states that, hey, you did what you had to do to survive. Um, they're the bad guys here. Um, and he's, Monado believes that he doesn't live up to being a Namekian and he can't even restore Goku, all of Goku's energy. And Goku says, um, you know, um, or v- Goku real remembers that Vegeta has another Senzo bean. He's like, where is it? And Vegeta states that it's in, it's stored in his armor, which he tossed away. And Goku completely like just dumbfounded that, you know, the Senzo bean is nowhere near. And right behind him, giant explosion occurs. Um, Granola still getting messed up. And um, he's now on the ground unconscious and um yeah he's he's knocked unconscious goku states that um that he's feeling much better gives thanks to monado tells vegeta to go get the uh, senzu bean and he says eat it and you know get strong again he he had the first one so it's only fair that vegeta gets the second one but vegeta makes a remark um, well, the same remark that Goku made to him a couple chapters ago and says, well, don't die. And um, Goku puts his thumb out um, to him, thumbs up, and says, yeah, jokingly to Vegeta, you can transform into freaky face mode again and beat gas, and then flies off. 
Vegeta kind of embarrassed, frustrated, annoyed, um, not freaky, freaky face mode. It's called Ultra Ego, you fool. So kind of, kind of funny that they made fun of the appearance of the form, whereas, you know, the community was kind of like, this is sweet, but this is kind of goofy all at the same time, um, but nonetheless. Um, then we see Goku getting in between Granola and Gas and says that, um, you know, it's his turn to fight. So um, Gas is just kind of, you know, he's just ready to kill Goku. He doesn't think that Goku is going to even stand a chance. He creates a, a sword or a blade with his, you know, energy technique. And he tries to stab Goku. Goku turns Super Saiyan Blue, uh, grabs the uh, sword. Gas is completely shocked that um, he has the power to do this. And then Goku snaps the um, sword. Again, Gas is shocked. Goku states, hey, you won't kill me that easily. And they begin fighting. Gas creates a um, shield, a circular shield with his left hand, and he uses it to block um, Goku's kicks and punches. And Goku tries to blast him. And um, pretty big blast, but Gas gets right behind him and creates a huge um, mallet. This is like when Gallagher is like destroying watermelons. Gas makes a remark, did you really think that would work on me, you fool? And smacks Goku right upside the head and just launches him. Um, Goku is now bleeding out off the side of his head, right above his right eye. The, the remaining heaters are um, uh, Maggie and uh, Oilor make the remark that the sands are not really that strong, it appears. And But then they see that Vegeta's gone. Well, Vegeta finds the sense of being um, it is perfectly safe it's good to go and we see that now gas has these um, I don't know how to describe them um, it's like like a advanced form of nunchuck this is how I kind of look at it but the rope that connects the you know the uh, the weights on the end it's super long and he's just beating the hell out of Goku with this stuff and um Goku makes a remark, where's Vegeta? He can't last much longer. And then we see where Vegeta went. And Vegeta flew over to Granola, and he's standing over his unconscious body. And he leans down and says, rise and shine, Granola. Granola comes back to consciousness, and Vegeta tells him to um, eat the Senzu bean. And he explains to him that it's going to restore his energy, and now eat it. And Granola, after he eats it, Perfectly, um, well, I'm trying to think if he actually ate it. I think he ate it. Um, but he's like, you had something like that all along? Eating that could have helped you beat me. And Vegeta, you know, with his pride, says, and take the coward's way out? Never. Uh, now eat that freaking bean and rejoin the fight. So he didn't actually eat the bean at that moment. It's just Granola sat up right when I retold him that. But Vegeta states... Uh, your, your revenge must be satisfied. No. Um, so settle this grudge with your own strength. So Vegeta is giving Granola the opportunity to avenge his uh, mother and his race and defeat the heaters on his own. So so that's, that's the end of the chapter. December 20th is the next date, but we'll see how that one goes. But man, this one was, this one was packed. I wasn't expecting this. This quick. I thought this kind of chapter was coming next month. Yeah, I I agree. I wasn't expecting all this stuff either, especially them making that um wish. I thought the dragon had two wishes. I am trying to remember. Um, I think it was only one. At least I only remember one. I only remember okay. Grano- like I'm trying to think if he did have two wishes. What was Granola's second wish? No. Okay. Yeah, I I think it's one then because I was just wondering, like, elect, I, I guess, what would make Granola, uh, like, elect not, like, have a safety net on gas? Because, like, why wouldn't gas just be like, all right, I'm the leader now because I'm the strongest. So I feel like elect has to have a backup plan for that. 
Yeah, you, 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 there, there, there must be something on that, unless Alec thinks that he's going to make another wish, you know? Or, or you know, the thing is, though, is that we don't technically know what the wish is, you know? It, if we yeah. if we knew, like, like, if it was a simple wish as dragon, gas, yeah, the strongest in the universe, then did they really need to hide that? You know, because we didn't we didn't see all we saw was um, dragon gets summoned. Um, Alec makes a comment that this is what a dragon must look like. Sky goes black and then sky goes back to the normal and then gas is strong. Like, could the wording have been let, let gas be strong enough or strongest in the universe to kill their adversaries and then he dies or. His power is only this strong for, you know, so long. Or, or, it, when, when Granola made his wish to be the strongest in the universe, he had to condense his life down to three remaining years. What if they condensed Gas's life down just far enough so that Gas could kill you know, this group and then go kill Frieza. So maybe Alec is just like, okay, um, Gas is going to be the person who's going to kill all these people, but Gas is going to die and I'll be in charge. Yeah, that's a good point. But no, like that scene where whenever this gets animated, if it ever gets animated, when Gas is walking up and you see the new Gas, I feel like that scene's definitely going to have some epic music. Mm-hmm. when that happens but i don't know man it i mean he looks he looks great but just like short gas and the way he was acting he just reminded me of of a more intelligent like kid boo because kid boo was short and he was wrecking shop real but now this full grown gas is whew, scary he does scary. have the facial structure of kid boo like in terms of like mm-hmm. if you look at like um uh page 13 um at the top mm-hmm. um he just had like the serious tone the darks around his eyes and just uh mm-hmm. yeah he, 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 he there's a little resemblance there i don't understand why his clothes fit because like you know he, <laughs> he grew up so it's like i, I, I don't understand why his clothes fit because you know when granola he did his transformation. The only thing that changed with him was his hair grew. You know, people in the mm-hmm. community made fun of it as Super Saiyan Three Granola. And but but <laughs> that's true. But but that was it. And then he went and gave himself a haircut, and then he was back to looking exactly the way he did. Gas here, his face and his hair didn't change. He just got taller, and his clothes adjusted. Right. So, what do you think of his power? The materializing weapons. That's pretty cool. It's like a crop. Like, so whenever I saw the spoilers before the chapter came out and they were talking about those boxes mm-hmm. around um, Goku's arms, mm-hmm. I instantly thought of hearts from Dragon Ball Heroes. Because <laughs> I'm like, oh, he's oh, creating. Because yes. I had seen that he was creating energy weapons. And I was like, oh, that's, mm-hmm. that, that's pretty cool. I, I don't know why that's like really. Like that's really a thing, but oh well. But um, but yeah, I I, I was like ah, so so they're taken from Hearts because they know Hearts is sweet and should actually be an antagonist. But okay, um, <laughs> I, I I don't do you, know. Um, do you remember? But I was gonna say, do you remember a couple months ago where we just said what's gonna stop? It's actually when Granola first made his wish and declared it. What's going to stop other villains from just making this wish? And here we are. Yep. Another villain making that wish. Yep. Yep. It's just, um, I, I would think that Alec is going to have to make another wish, right? Because the one thing. He's not even with them. He's still with the dragon or the balls. Yeah, the balls. Gone. Or maybe he's on his way over. And uh, mm. we'll, we'll see. But it's like. So, 
Alec has to be the final villain, right? Like, he has to be the main bad guy in the in the climax of this entire arc. Like, Gas can't be, right? I mean, more... I agree. More, I agree. Even, even, okay. And so, with with kind of the structure of how these all these arcs have been, going back even to Z, whoever's the enemy at the beginning is not the enemy at the end. Now, Mm -hmm. Um, so we start off with, you know, during the Saiyan saga, um, Raditz shows up, but Vegeta is the main enemy there. Um, but if you want to take into account that maybe Frieza was the final enemy, but even when they got the Namek, you know, the, the first antagonist, well, we know Frieza was bad. Um, it was, you know, it was, uh, Zarbon and then it was the Ginyu force and then Frieza, but then Frieza had four transformations. Okay. then. You know, next arc, we're talking about the androids. We think that uh, there's two androids coming. We don't know anything about them. And 19 and 20 come. We think that they're the bad guys. And then we find out they're not even the bad guys. It's um, 17 and 18. And then we find out that they're, they're not even the final bad guys. It's Cell. And Cell has three transformations. Let's get into Boo, for example. Boo... Um, goes through all of his transformations. Okay, cool. Um, we can skip then to Black and Zamasu. We had uh, evil Goku. Then we find out that uh, that Zamasu is evil. And then, you know, Black is evil um, Zamasu. And, and then they merge into one being. <laughs> so it's like you've... Moro's the kind of no. Moro's the same. Moro's the same. He starts off as this old fuck, and um, then he then he gets young. Um, whenever he makes the you know King Piccolo wish to gain back his youth, whatever, and then he absorbs seven three with angel powers and blah blah blah. So it's like, okay, Granola was the first. Um, antagonist or first enemy in this thing. Now Gas is here, and I kind of think this this arc is still in its early stages. I think, but, but then we have Gas, so there there has to be more 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 bad guys or different more fighting that's common. So who do you think is going to be the antagonist? Do you think Gas gets a new form? Do you think Alec is going to be the big bad guy, or is Freeze going to be the one here? later wrecking havoc uh well I'll, I'll go backwards on that with frieza i don't know what he's gonna do like there's no point of him showing up what if frieza there's makes no a point wish? of him showing up oh well i mean he's been wanting to make the last he had a chance and he wanted to make himself five inches taller well so what if you know he doesn't want to be immortal now what if someone tells him hey people are cheating to be the strongest in the universe and freeze is like okay i know where there's not one set not two set not a three set he probably knows where four sets of dragon ball are. he probably knows that they're on earth they're on i bet he can find somehow new planet namek he can probably i mean he knows there's super dragon balls out there he ain't getting those but you know he knows and um and uh, hey, maybe he knows now that Planet Serial, which he's been to, has a set of two Dragon Balls. He can go make himself a wish. And he can be the strongest in the universe because he's already incredibly strong. I can only imagine how strong he is if he condenses his power through his entire life in a matter of a couple of years. But A couple of things on that point before. And I'll, I'll come to those points after. I think it's going to be elect. I think he's going to be the final boss in some way, shape or form. Um, with the Frieza thing, just two things. One, I don't think Monado's surviving. I think he's going to die. So those Dragon Balls will be gone. And I think with Earth, which you talked about, like if he went to Earth, depending on where they're at, do you think Frieza is stronger than if they all fought him on Earth? Do you think he'd win? Like 17, ultimate, go like you think he'd win? Hold on, say that again. Do you do I think Frieza defeats the Z fighters on Earth right now? Mm-hmm. Yes. 
I think Frieza, so you thought Frieza was the third strongest on the Tournament of Power team. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So, so yeah, I think Frieza. I I, I think the, the list is easier to mention who can defeat Frieza in Universe Seven. I, Goku, Vegeta, uh, mm-hmm. Beerus, and Whis. Mm-hmm. I'll throw them in there. Broly. Broly. Yes, absolutely, Broly. Yes, <laughs> uh, Broly. Um, and now the question is: Is it granola or gas? Um, oh, they beat the. You saw what they just did to MUI. No, yeah. no. So I mean, I there. There's two more people, um, but that's that's it in terms of just sheer strength. Un- unless there's some magical thing with Kid Boo or Kid Boo Majin Boo. <laughs> I don't. I don't think Majin Buu can win unless he starts absorbing people. Um, so, unless, uh, oh, I guess M- Miris. I, I guess I include Miris in there. And I, and I, even though he's not Angel anymore, I would say he can. So, but yeah, yeah. I, I, I guess so. I don't think Go Hunter Seventeen can do it individually. I just think like as a group, they would have a decent shot. Um, I'm just trying to think. I'm like, um, since we haven't seen them get any stronger, like actually, like on screen, like in my eyes, you can only mm-hmm. assume that yes, if they get stronger, then Freeze is getting strong. And when Freeze went to Earth, now granted, Go Gohan was still in you know, in his jumpsuit, but Freeze Freeze messed up the. In- uh, everyone on Earth until Goku and Vegeta arrived. Not even in golden form. You know, he he was in his absolute lowest form and still wiped the floor with him. Okay, so this is, since I know we're off tangent, but I like where we're at with this because you brought that thing. So this is the manga, so we're going off the manga thing. And the reason I brought up, so do you think Frieza is stronger than Kefla? Kefla. The reason I'm bringing this up is because Gohan took Kefla to a standstill, and he didn't even go Super Saiyan. I so say, that's what I'm asking. Again, in the manga, yeah. If we're sticking with the manga, I think Kefla is not stronger than Golden Frieza. Okay. Because I will. Because then I believe that. A Super Saiyan God, definitely a Super Saiyan Blue, could defeat Kefla. Agreed. Because then, because then, you know, it goes to like I don't think Kefla is stronger than Majin Buu Saga Vegito. I mean, you just really? take two Super Saiyan hmm. twos, merge them together with all of their battle experience. And mm-hmm. does not compete with two Sands from Universe Six who just learned how to go Super Saiyan One. Now, Khalifa, Khalifa, no Kale, Kale, mm-hmm. Kale, Kale learned. You know the legendary, the, the Broly Super Saiyan, Broly Super Saiyan, legendary. Mm-hmm. So I mean, I understand that form is strong, really strong on par with like you know super saiyan 2 because now again this is not canon but you know adult gohan super saiyan 2 in the movie fought legendary super saiyan broly and um they were kind of at a standstill for a little bit until broly got the upper hand but so i'm like team gohan would have washed him yes yeah very much so um but it's still a Super Saiyan 2 transformation. So, like, yeah, just connecting the dots there. Vegito is stronger than Kefla. And I think a Super Saiyan God has to be stronger than Vegito. And, or, and if it isn't, then I would, I would strongly believe a Super Saiyan Blue is stronger than a Super Saiyan Vegito. And um, I think Frieza is on par with a Super Saiyan Blue. 
at least in the ballpark. That's, so that's therefore, really I think Breeze is stronger than Kefla. Okay, well then that's consistent then because you said, yeah, that's very interesting. I, I'm have to actually like re-listen to this and like think about it. Like since this was just on the spot because it's from the manga stuff. And there's uh, also what do you like think 10, of given connect the dots there? You know, it's like yeah. What do you think of Vegeta giving the bean? A lot of people are giving that like panel praise that Vegeta gave it to Granola as telling him to finish this fight. I love it. I love it. I forget when when we bitched about it. Yeah, it could have been it could have been the very first podcast we ever did. I don't like um we, we complained. It was sometime during the Moro arc where it was actually nice to see other people it was nice seeing goku or goku uh gohan and piccolo fighting against moro's men you know it was it was sweet to see the z fighters like going around the planet to protect the planet from the henchmen it was just a nice change of pace it it kind of reminded of you know when when during the namek saga um, or, you know, Saiyan Saga, where, you know, Goku and Vegeta weren't involved, where the story just wasn't always on them. And then now we know that, you know, everything circles back around and they had to be the climax. OK, but giving that being to Granola, it, it's great storytelling because, I mean, Goku and Vegeta have really been no reason to be on that planet. They really don't. You know, the heaters just came and convinced them to come along. And then, you know, so they were deceived. But Granola is the one who has lived, went through hell, lived through hell, um, and has talked about seeking revenge. And he's seeking revenge against sort of the wrong people. Granted, you know, Vegeta is the son of. King Vegeta, who, you know, helped decimate his planet. So I get it. I get it. But they're not the bad guys. Um, but Granola now has a chance to kill the individuals who killed his mother. So I like, I, I love that Goku and Vegeta are going to take a step back. And the story is going to focus on Granola versus Gas. Well needed. I just wonder, I just can't, my crystal, my Baba's crystal ball does not show me the future as to what is like, like going to happen. Cause like, is granola going to win? Is granola going to defeat gas? And then. I don't think, I don't think so. You don't think so. So then how do they, how do they escape? Do, does Goku. I, I think it's starting to get to a point where. Because I, I don't know if they're going to interfere and get them out of there, but I'm starting to get to a point too where I think Weiss is about to take them out, like leave them, drop them, and leave. Yeah. Or like come get them. Because I mean, he's the ones, he kind of gave us a thing. He's like, hey, if someone, that Oracle thinks someone's going to be the strongest in the universe, we never thought it'd be gas. Yeah. Maybe it's not even so gas. I think it'll get to a point where it's, <laughs> maybe it's maybe that's true. Yes. Um, but you think you think that? I mean, we, you would think that Weiss is watching this. Um, mm-hmm. And um, I'm actually trying to think: was there a panel where they were watching this? No, 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 no. They weren't I watching believe, this. No. Weiss was watching Granola. Right. Make the wish. Yeah. Yeah. Either make the wish or it was after the wish, but you're correct. It was it was around that time frame. I I can't remember. Like in terms of like if 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 they lose, I don't know what they're going to do. Are they going to instant transmission out of there? Because that's what they that's what they've done before. That's how they got out of old planet or new new Namek. Was after you know. Moro thing, they they teleported out with you know Goku, Vegeta, and you know uh, the Grand Supreme Kai, and you know um, 
So I'm like, is that the same thing? But would that like- would that be enough though? Because I'm saying what's like when Ganola made his wish, he just learned a whole bunch of new stuff and had no idea. Like if Gas now with his wish is, should be an improved version of Ganola's wish. If they go to Weiss's planet, couldn't he just follow them? I'm just assuming he has a better instant transmission than Goku and could just follow him. Yeah. You know, the one thing, because they were talking about this, now that the colored panels have come out, and and I was stating, we were stating that Granola has, has the ability to Hakai objects. Whenever he Hakai that big old rock, it exploded on the mountainside. And we were sitting here saying, he knows Hakai. Th- this chapter might be in black and white, but these... These clues and how this whole chapter was written um, just scream that Vegeta knows how to Hakai. And because he had learned it right before Granola made the wish, Granola knows how to Hakai. Do you think then we're going to see some god of destruction? Like, is, is that what Granola's going to do? Is he going to Hakai gas? Well, can get, I guess, yeah, with potential, could Gas be a guide? There's a lot of things we're going to have to see with Gas, if which will be so Hakai, interesting next Hakai, chapter. If Hakai is Gas, how does the chapter proceed? Because Alec has to be a bitch. He has to be weak as shit, and he's going to get killed. Unless he made a wish somehow to double dip, and, you know, he's the strongest in the universe, too. Like, like what stops the dragon? Like, if you, if you were in front of a dragon, man, and you're with, like, What's what's the limitations on any dragon's wish capabilities? Because if you were like, I wish me, you, person A, person B, person C was super strong. Like, would the dragon be like, I can only make one of you strong? Or, you know, if, if your wish was, I, I wish me and five other people... Um, were rich you know i think a like a dragon could grant that wish like what what's the limitations on how many people he can make strong again that's true i think with that it would just be old english yeah i don't think gas is gonna die that's the thing like they're they're not gonna kill him after one chapter i think this is that next because next chapter is the last chapter of the year so i feel like that's going to be a big Gas and Granola fight and Goku and Vegeta are watching, trying to make sure those other two heaters don't hop in. And I feel like next, to go into the new year of 2022, they're going to leave us on a huge cliffhanger page. I don't know what it is. Maybe Elect is going to emerge out of nowhere, looking freaking crazy, because like you said, they just used a comma in their sentence, and he got super strong or something. Mm. But it, it's going to be interesting next next month on december 20th on where this goes because it has to be granola versus gas and i just i just don't know what they're gonna do like if if gas is stronger than granola that means gas would be able to fight against most of the goku's forms um except for i would i would not say mui but we saw Granola beat MUI, but Goku got tricked because Granola was had a freaking clone. We saw that he opened his other eye against Vegeta. So, yeah, I mean, it's going to be interesting, man, because... you Let me ask you. We're going to have to see. I don't think I asked. Um, do you like what we... Do you like Gas's powers? Like, when we were speculating, what can Gas do that's going to have him stomp everyone? Did you think energy material materialization, if that's even a word, was what we were going to see? Like, like, are you disappointed based on your expectations, or do you do? You, I mean, I assume we like. I I enjoy looking at what granola has, but like, or gas has, but like, is it is that is that what you wanted, or what you thought you were going to see? Um, I, I like it because it's different. Um, it's not the run of the mill, just 
He's got some cool stuff he can do. I don't think that's all he can do, though. I think that's his basic stuff, just like Granola's basic stuff was like his sniping. Like, I don't think he's even delved into, like, the power he got from the Wish. This is just like his basic stuff. It kind of it kind of reminds me of, you know, Janempa, though. You know, Janempa took that little mm. acorn in hell or whatever it was and turned it into a freaking sword. True, true. But um, I, know, I was going to say gonna be, it's going to be an interesting chapter. Isn't this kind of what Moro should have done? Like, Mor- I feel like like Moro's like magic was underwhelming because I, I just thought he was going to have a whole lot more. He even said that he had a whole lot more, and like, yeah, all, all we saw him do yeah. was absorb people's energy if they were standing on a planet, and then eat people and absorb their powers, which is nothing different than what Cell did, you know. <laughs> Agreed. No, agreed. But we'll see, man. It's going to be interesting. So when this fight happens next month, I think it's going to be a full-out fight chapter. Uh, two of the strongest people here, Goku Majita watching, the other heaters watching. I think Alexa going to make some startling revelation. At the end of chapter 79, and then we'll start with chapter 80 to end in 2022. Yep, yep. That'll be it. So I don't want to make this too long an episode. Just want to do some quick hitting things before we sign off. Uh, Since we are recording today on November 20th, today is the 37th anniversary of the very first chapter of Dragon Ball that was published in Weekly Shonen Jump. So look at us recording a pod on the 37th anniversary. Crazy, man. Crazy. Just 30... It's it's crazy how old this franchise is, you know, like, and it's not, mm-hmm. it's not, um, it, it's one continuation, though, you know what I mean? There, there are other mediums, but like comic books have tons of different stories and they have tons of different universes. Yep. And, yep. you know, sometimes, sometimes you have to wonder, like, um, you know, what's what's true like what's i guess canon but even though it's all canon because it's a mm-hmm. multiverse like this has like one story mm-hmm. like you can trace back all the way to when goku and bulma met and you can list in chronological order all the events that happened and mm-hmm. they've been doing that for 37 years so you know they might we might like nitpick on some things like in terms of they forgot this. They forgot what they established in the lore. But I mean, that's the thing, you know. That that was that was thirty seven years ago when they started this. So maybe sometimes I got to give them a oh. little bit of leniency. But I don't think I will. So <laughs> I like this too much. <laughs> yeah, and the popularity stayed the same too because on November eleventh, both Dragon Ball Z Xenoverse 2 and Dragon Ball Z Fighters Z Fighters, they both separately sold have sold 8 million copies. So 16 million total. So you can already tell, like, and these aren't people who have watched Dragon Ball from the beginning, like some of us. These are new people who are getting into it now. And for an anime game to have two separate games sell 8 million, that just shows the popularity of this, of this genre of this manga no dragon ball outlast everything man it's it it's embedded into our into our blood (laughs) it's amazing shoot i mean there i mean out of the blue on tuesday before the chapter we got a thing like oh dragon ball the breakers a new game that no one saw coming coming out and for ps4 switch xbox one and steam That's in the same universe as Xenoverse 2. And like this game came out of nowhere. We were just like, what the hell is this? Yeah. We're sitting here asking for Xenoverse 3 and we get that. And I'm like, wow, (laughs) out of of nowhere, you gave me a completely different game. All right. All right. A survival game. (laughs) Well, we'll see. And I mean, it's a little, I, I don't know how to describe that game. 
like a hide and seek game, but you 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 described it as uh, among yeah among us. Yep. Well, yeah, running away from freaking cell. <laughs> That's basically what they like. What who think about that? Someone in the development was like, we're gonna make a game where you're humans and you're trying to run away from cell before he puts you in his tail and absorbs you. So it sounds like it should be a game like a mobile game, like. We're mm-hmm. talking about this being on a console. And I'm like, right. It can't, it can't be $60. Like, like it can't <laughs> be $60, right? Uh, no, nah, like, I don't, I don't think it, sh- it shouldn't. Hell no. No it, way. No, I'm not buying that game if it's $60. Sorry, 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 listeners. Um, if, 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 you, if you got a YouTube page, and you want to live stream it, go for it. Maybe, maybe, you know, <laughs> maybe the L7C uh, will um, get the game. I don't know if and, I'm getting that game. You know, no. Show it off no. on, um, you know, a game stream. Um, tune into that shit, too. Ah. So, but. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know about that. But last thing, though, we got the chapter coming out December 20th. We have... Dragon Ball Super's stage is going to be at the Jump Festa on December 18th, where they have Masoko Nozawa, the voice of Goku, Toshio, the voice of Piccolo. We're going to get the voice actors for Gamma 1, Gamma 2 for the movie Dragon Ball Super Superhero. We're probably going to get the next trailer on the 18th and the release date. So the next time you hear from us, we might have a release date for you, and we'll be analyzing the next trailer and a manga chapter. The Dragon Ball might be ending 2021 with a bang. Yep. Exciting times. Exciting times. Let me tell you. Mitch, anything else, man? So, uh, last words before we close. As we close. Nope. Uh, for uh, for, um, for all the listeners, thanks for uh, always listening. If, if you're listening to here, listening to us in the States, uh, happy Thanksgiving this Thursday. And um, for everyone else, I appreciate it. Uh, Appreciate you guys listening in every time. Really do. Thank you. Thank you. And with that being said, this is the L7C signing out. Thank you for listening to this episode of the L7C podcast. Be sure to like, rate, review, and subscribe to the channel. Follow us on all social media platforms. And we'll be talking to you guys soon. Take care.